Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to create this background image border effect here. It's very striking, it's not difficult to do and with the Divi theme it makes it easy for you. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check out the Divi theme. It's absolutely awesome and just keeps getting better and better. And you can do so from my affiliate link below this video if you want to take it for a test drive. So let's get started. I've got a page open here. I'm going to go up and hit the Enable Visual Builder button. Go down to where I want to put my little image here. I've got a, just a regular section here and I've got a, a row with two columns in it. I've made that one on that first column there. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on the second column here. I'm going to hit the little black button here to add a little module. I'm going to go down and add a text module. Divi comes with all of these as default. There's plenty enough there to keep you going for a long time. Okay. It puts in a bit of sort of default text. I haven't got anything particular I want to say, but I'm going to delete a lot of it and put put a little title in there. I'm going to make that a heading one or two, probably heading two. There we go. So we've got a little text block there. Now we're going to sort of build it from the inside out. So we're starting with our text here. And at the moment, what I'll do is I'll give this section a dark background so we can see more what's going on. So I'll just save this. I'll just give this a blue background or something. and I'll take it away afterwards. It'll just make it easier for you to see what's going on. So there's our little text block. Let's go back in there. And to make it stand out, I'm going to give it a white background. So I'm on the content tab. I'm going to go down to background and simply click on the white. There we are. We can see a lot better now. But of course, if I move this out of the way, it's a bit squashed up. We want a bit of space, top, bottom, right and left. This one, I think I did 60 top and bottom and 30 right and left. So let's do that. I'm going to go over to design tab, spacing. And here's our padding. So I'm going to do 60 on the top. Don't have to put picks in, it'll put it for you. If you want to put percentage in there, you can do that too by typing it in. Hit the little chain icon, it'll fill out the next one for you. And we'll do the same with the left and right, but I want to make that one 30. There we go, that's kind of got it where I want it. Okay, well, we want to give this, see, we've given it a bit of in a shadow there. So let's go ahead and do that next on the design tab yet again. I'm going to go down to box shadow. I'm going to select this one that's got a little bit all around it. Of course you can adjust everything and by default it's going to put it on the outside. I don't know if you can see that or not but if we slide down box shadow position just under the colors here little toggle switch here we can make it an inner shadow. That's what I want to do. There we go, we've got it inside. It's not quite where I want it. So just jig the vertical position until it's more where we want it. I want a bit all sides. That's about right there. And play with it and get it how you want it. Okay, and around the little box here, we put a little white border. I think that was just two or three pixels. Let's put that one in. So if we go up, we'll close this, just click on the little tab there, it'll close it. Let's give it a border. Make that white. There we go. <coughs> okay, so we've got our basic structure here. Now then, what we want to do is, I'll move this out of the way because it's going to get a little crowded here. Now what we want to do is put our sort of image border in around, around the outside of it. And we can't do this with the actual module. We actually have to go into the row or the column that's behind it. So let's do that. 
Just going to check that. Go up here. Blue is for the section, the tab up here. Green is for the row, which we want right now. And of course, blacks for the module within the row. So let's go into our row that has two columns. We're working on the second column here, so it's right here. Hit the little cog to edit. Pull this up so you can see it. Okay, background is what we want. I'm going to give it a background image. You can do color, gradient, or image, or video if you want to. I'm going to give it an image. I guess I'll use the same ones I used before, which I believe was that right there. So there we are. Our column has actually got a background image now. Now you can't see it because it's behind this because this is filling out all of our column here. So what I want to do is what we did on the one to the left of it. I want to give it some padding, top, bottom, left and right. I think I used 50 picks. So let's go ahead and do that. Go over to design, spacing, and here's padding. And I want 50 pixels everywhere. Obviously you put in as much or as little as you want. We'll check that. And as you can see, that image is starting to appear. If you wanted just a little, little top and bottom image, you see those quite often, perhaps not without the box shadow and border, that would be a good effect on its own. But I want it all round, so let's put it here. There we go, we're kind of shaping up there. We've got our image border. But we want this nice white outer board around it very easy to do I'm sure you're one step ahead of me you figured it out already we gave our image 50 pixels here so what we'll do we'll go to border and I'm gonna give it a 50 pixel white border all around so let's go ahead and do that here's the border I'm checked on this one which will do all of them you can do them individually top right bottom left and you can give them curves on the corners individually or all as one if you've got that checked too. But I don't want a curve on this particular project. So let's go down a little bit just underneath border width. I want to make that 50 pixels. 50. There we have it. And I want to make it white. Click the white. There we have it. And the last little bit of icing on the cake, I'm just going to give it a little bit of box shadow to make it stand out. And what I'll do is I'll change our blue background back here to white. So we want the color of white. We've already got that. That's fantastic. Only other thing I want to do is just give it a little bit of box shadow. And I'm going to use this one again. I think that's what I used on the other one. And this time I'm going to leave it as an outer shadow save our changes and let's take that color away from the section background just hover on the color hit the little trash can icon save and there you have it that's how to create a background image border design using the fantastic divi theme from elegant themes so i hope you've enjoyed that I guess before I end, I ought to show you how to save it if you've not done it before. We've still got our Visual Builder enabled. To exit the Visual Builder, you want to go down to the little purple button. Click on it so it expands. Hit the Save button on the bottom right hand side. When it's saved, simply click on Exit the Visual Builder. Go down to where we were. And there we have it. There's our two little images right there. And of course, you can do all kind of different effects with this and make a little collage however you want. But I think it's uh, quite striking and will look good on your website. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web design, please take a look down below. We've got some great free web design courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.